Tonight, for the first time, we are seeing the three exiled Louisville statues in storage. Two of them pulled down by the city in the middle of the protests over racial unrest. Today, a local group that's been suing the city over the removal of one of the statues said it will now be heading to the Kentucky Court of Appeals. They are the three statues the city does not want on display. Take a look. For the first time, we're seeing them in storage. At the moment, they sit staring at a rock wall, one of them covered by a large tarp. Here's King Louis, still covered in paint. To the left of him, you see the back of George Prentice, removed from the main library in 2018. And right here, this close-up taken by the city of one of the most controversial statues, still covered in a large tarp. This is the Castleman statue. It sits against the tree line. It was removed quickly from the Cherokee Triangle early in the morning of June 8th. The city was still in the middle of the racial unrest and early protests when Castleman was pulled down by the order of the mayor. The fight to get it back hasn't stopped. Due to false accusations and vandalism intimidation, the city bowed to revisionist history and removed the Castleman statue. The group Friends of Louisville Public Art is now heading to the Kentucky Court of Appeals to get Castleman back. A circuit court judge ruled against them on September 10th. Attorney Steve Porter says the city had three employees on the Landmarks Commission. He says a conflict of interest. Without the vote of the Metro government employees, employees of Mayor Fisher and Mayor Metro government, the removal motion would have failed. Preservationist Steve Weiser says the real history of Castleman tells a different story about the man who fought for the Confederacy and later the U.S. Army, then helped create Louisville's park system. Castleman was a friend of the African-American community. Weiser showed photos of other statues like Hogan's Fountain hit since the first protest started in Louisville on May 28th. Hogan's Fountain, Daniel Boone, and more recently George Rogers Clark this past week. Where will these vandals stop? Will they attack Abraham Lincoln next? For now, the statues remain out of view. Castleman still covered in paint under the tarp. Weiser says they have no shortage of support to fight Castleman's last stand in the courts. We've had tremendous financial support. We've had tremendous support from around the community. And the citizens want this statue where it was originally. And that's what it looks like today in the Cherokee Triangle. The pedestal remains. The city doesn't comment on pending lawsuits, but in response to my questions today, the mayor's office did tell me late today that when it comes to Castleman and King Louis, no final decisions have been made on replacements. On King Louis, his future will be decided by a conservation assessment. It was unveiled as a gift to the city from France in 1967.